Big news today from LSAC. The LSAT has been a paper and pencil exam for its entire history since 1948. So we're talking you know, over 70 years of paper and pencil test. Now they have made the announcement that starting 2019, they're moving to digital. Specifically, the July 2019 LSAT will be both digital as well as paper and pencil. But starting September 2019, according to them, it's going to be all digital. And what you're looking at right now is an example of an LSAT question on the tablet digital format. I've blurred out the content because although LSAC released this on their website, they're still pretty touchy about copyright. So if you want to actually see the question, go on their website, but this is pretty much just for the layout. So you see over here, we've got the stimulus over here. We have the question stem, then the answer choices, some pretty cool features here. We can highlight different portions. So here they've highlighted the part of the question stem. Here they've highlighted part of the stimulus. Of course, you can eliminate answer choices. That's pretty cool. And you can resize, it, resize the text. You can make it bigger or smaller as you'd like to. You can also see the time remaining. There's a ticking clock there and you can mark off questions to come back to later. So you can see here what at a glance, what's bubbled in, what's not bubbled in. So some pretty cool features here. I'm really digging this, but there, of course, there are some downsides there are not really any LSATs in this format. So LSAC says that they are going to release an online familiarization tool. They have not released this yet. So they claim it'll be by the end of 2018. We'll see what happens, but obviously they need to give students a chance to practice with this new format. So that's what logical reasoning looks like. We've also got a logic games section. So here, once again, They've made some highlights to part one of the rules. They've made a highlight in one of the answer choices. Again, eliminating answer choices. Again, selecting a choice. You can see what's been completed, what's not, what's been flagged to come back to later. So you see the flag down here, flag up there. That's how you flag it. Pretty cool feature. I like it. I often recommend that students avoid getting bogged down by marking off questions to come back to later. So this is a digital way to integrate that technique into your prep. There still remain lots of unanswered questions about how will students notate for reading comp? How will students make logic games diagrams? Do you do it separately and then kind of go back and forth the tablet screen from the tablet screen to your own, your own scrap paper, your own notations and back and forth. Hard to say, we'll see what happens again, just to recap, here are some of the benefits or different features of the digital LSAT resizing text, highlighting information ruling out choices and answers, seeing the time remaining, and marking off questions to come back to later. The digital LSAT will be available to everyone starting July 2019, but on that test administration, you'll still have the paper option. On that particular exam, they will actually let you see your score before you decide whether to cancel. At the moment, that appears to be unique to this single LSAT administration, so that's a pretty cool option. I don't expect them to offer that going forward. So this is just a one-time opportunity. The LSAT will be fully digital only starting September 2019, assuming everything goes smoothly with this rollout. I'm not quite as optimistic about that. There are still some kinks to work out on their end, but we'll see what happens. They will be releasing this tool on their website that will also be mobile friendly and app friendly, I'm guessing. So you might be able to do LSAT questions from LSAC in the new digital format before, of course, taking it. They've done Samsung tablets for their trial runs. They have not fully committed to which tablet they will use for digital LSATs going forward officially. We'll see what happens. I'm guessing it'll be Samsung, but even if not, it shouldn't be too complicated. They're trying to make it accessible to everyone. So we'll see what happens. Uh, personally, I've been teaching this exam for over 10 years now. And well, of course, I love the benefits of going digital. I love the idea that there will be more than just four or even six LSAT administrations a year. I think that's great for students. I think being able to get your score back sooner or maybe immediately is a great benefit. But I think that given the benefits of being able to diagram by hand, given the benefits of being able to cross things out by hand or take notes by hand, I don't love the tablet format for the LSAT. I know that it's the future and this is where the tech is heading, but 
I think that it'll be difficult for students to adjust. And even if you have more digital LSATs available to practice on, it won't fully replicate the paper pencil experience. There's a reason that in college, for example, students do better when they take notes by hand than when they type them out. I think that you lose a lot in going to the digital format. So this is where it's headed. I'm not going to try and fight it. I'm not going to say that it's a bad thing. I think like anything else, it has its pros and cons, but we do have to get ready for this change. So it's time for us to start thinking about how will we diagram differently? How will we take notes differently? And future LSAT materials and study will have to take this into account. So we'll see what happens. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Steve Schwartz, and I have published a variety of LSAT books and courses available on my website, the LSAT blog. I have links to LSAT's screenshots of those questions in case you want to take a look at them further. And I also have links to some digital LSAT related content that's already on my website if you would like to find out more. So thanks for watching and take care.